Don't Call Me Grandma, written by Vonda Michelle Nelson, illustrated by Elizabeth Zunon. Great Grandmother Nell is scary. Once I forgot and called her grandma. She yanked my ear, leaned in close, and said, It's Grandmother, you, my pretty, just like the witch in The Wizard of Oz. Great Grandmother Nell fries fish and boils grits for breakfast. I like fish, but for breakfast? And with the heads on and the creepy fish eye looking right at me from my plate? Great Grandmother Nell likes the beach. When we go, she poses in her bathing suit like she's a movie star. I pretend to be a movie star too, but she clicks her hum. Scandalous, she says, so I stop. Great Grandmother Nell has a short stubby glass with a picture of a spider on one side. She fills the glass with something that looks like apple juice and takes tiny slips. One spider glass full lasts all day. She let me taste it one time. Yuck. Now I know why she takes tiny sips. Why do you drink it? I ask. Heart medicine, she says. Broken heart. I reach for her, but she turns away. Great grandmother Nell never hugs. Great grandmother Nell is prickly, but her bedroom isn't. A princess could sleep there. I'm not allowed to play in great grandmother's room, but sometimes she lets me go in just to look. A ballerina doll sits in the middle of the bed, her long cloth arms and legs folded just right. I want to pick the ballerina up, but her expression makes me think she might tell. Great grandmother Nell has a special dresser called the vanity. It has a cushiony stool in front and mirrors all around, even on the shelves. Great grandmother Nell looks in the mirror and growls. Then she turns and growls at me. I squeal and run, hoping she'll chase me. She doesn't. Great grandmother Nell's room smells sweet, like lilacs and roses, powder puffs and lipsticks and nail polish and wigs and pearls and earrings and bottles and bottles and bottles of perfume crowd the vanity shelves. Mirrors make it look like there are more bottles than they really are. All shapes and sizes and colors, fancy glass, blue and green, pink and yellow from New York or London or Paris. The ones I like best have sparkly glass tops with stems that great grandmother dabs behind her small ears. Here, she says and dabs me with something that smells like vanilla. Then she sniffs me hard and loud with her wide nostrils. Great grandmother Nell is stern, but she is glamorous. Her skin is chocolatey brown and her lips are painted ruby red. After she puts on lipstick, she presses her mouth to a tissue. She colors my lips too, then shows me her tissue trick. To make sure you are wearing just enough, but not too much, she explains. I pucker my lips and kiss the air. Great grandmother now never kisses. Great grandmother Nell is 96 and she remembers every minute of her life. All of it from the day I was born, she tells me. She remembers when she only had to pay 14 cents to see a double feature at the movies and a Hershey bar cost a nickel. She remembers the time her sour cherry pie won first prize at the church picnic and Mayella Carter, who always brags about her blue ribbon blueberry pie, was mad as a hornet. She remembers the time her best friend said they couldn't be friends anymore because of her brown skin. Is that when your heart got broken, Grandmother? I ask. She looks out the window and whispers, the first time. I pat her hand. She lets me. Papa says Great Grandmother Nell won't be with us so much longer because she is so old. I don't think he's right. She's old, but she's not worn out. Tonight, I climb out of bed and sneak into her room. The ballerina is sitting on the vanity stool watching other ballerinas in the mirrors. She won't notice me. A lamp is on by the bed, but great grandmother Nell is sleeping. I can tell because she is snoring like a dragon. No fire is coming out, but her nostrils get bigger and smaller every time she breathes. Even asleep, great grandmother Nell is scary, but I like her that way. 
I give her a little hug. She smells like peaches. I kiss my grandma. She won't know.